everybody. My phone's filling up. I got to delete some videos, and I have been, but it still says it's full. I think that's an iPhone thing, but uh, October 26th here. Low spot, mud spot right here, so the beans are pretty poor, but uh, right over there, if you live in Faribault, one second here, if you live in Faribault, or if you ever watch the news and they give a Faribault weather report, that's where that comes from. Oh boy, hold on, this is way harder to do one-handed than I thought. That's the Faribault Airport. We're right at the airport right now. That's where they get their weather from. Wow, this is extremely difficult. There we go, off and running. There's a little wind speed. I think they got the barometer there, temperature, all sorts of stuff here. But uh, the airport here is, used to be a lot more than they put a grass runway that crisscrosses the main runways here. And, uh, you know, there's probably 65 acres here on the airport that he rents from the city of Faribault. But, uh, yeah, here's the weather thing. I think that's kind of neat. There's a rain gauge on the bottom right, it looks like. The right thing has, like, a little tube and a funnel. That must be a rain gauge and barometers and wind speed and who knows what else there. So that's kind of neat. But, yeah, we're still going here, and I have to work tonight. So I'm going to go until about 5 o'clock. It's about 1 o'clock right now. Probably got about 30 acres out for the day so far. And then I'm gonna take off and they're gonna push, push, push until it uh, rain slash snows tonight, so. All right, but uh, we're probably gonna get rained out for the weekend, which is no problem, because my cousin is getting married. And uh, it's gonna be a fun weekend. And then, uh, you know, we'll get back at it next week, hopefully. Maximum efficiency. Gotta keep side winding. It is hard to hold this side hill kind of slide and every now and then I have to tap the brakes to keep me on the hill here and not slide into them. Ooh, dogging up the hill. There's some big hills here. One more beep. Maybe one more, I lied. Now we're coming over the hill. And now we're under a winter weather advisory until 7 p.m. tomorrow. Great. Just wonderful. Wonderful. They might get a second combine out here tonight. Uh, Brian's relatives finished their beans this morning. They have a 1680 with a 20 foot platform. They might come out and run two combines tonight while I'm at work. We'll go until it rains around midnight. Plane coming in for a landing here. It's always kind of cool to watch. I don't even know if you guys can see him on the camera yet. There he is. It is windy out here. And the temperatures are dropping. And he's not paying attention. Speed up there. There we go. <laughs> We're both taking videos of the plane. Well, everybody, that's it for me. It's 4.30. By the time I move to the next field, I'm going to have somebody take over. I'm going to head back to my truck here. Uh, probably pick 70 acres or so by now and now uh, they're gonna keep going and that second combine should be here for the evening so who knows uh, you know how much they're gonna get here but uh, hopefully they can pound some acres off before the snow flies tonight they're talking some of the reports say one to two inches some of the other reports say uh, you know two to three two to four inches but uh, we'll just have to take it in stride and uh, you know go from there so buzzing along here and kind of snaking back around the runway I gotta go back around the grass runway and then over through those trees. Kind of a take me about five minutes to get to the next field here. So, thanks for watching and uh, we'll check you guys later. What is going on? It's the morning of the 27th. I'm just getting home from work at 6 a.m. The guys picked until 2 30 this morning and uh, they figure in all today we did a together 155 acres before they got snowed out so that probably puts us somewhere in the 250 acres to go for soybeans and about another 230 acres of corn to go but it's snowing most of it's melting as it hits the ground but we're in that well depending on who you ask we're in one to two inches then some people say two to four inches but a lot of it's melting but uh we're gonna be down for a couple days and then they're talking rain sunday and then a rain wednesday so 
it's gonna be hard but uh, if the videos stop you know why we're waiting for mother nature so you know that when we get back in the field there'll be videos and uh, it's gonna be battle with mother nature from here on out check you later